what is going on guys and welcome to this exciting new video series where I'm going to be teaching you guys DaVinci Resolve and my goal is to teach you everything that you need to know and get you proficient in less than a week. And of course I have watched many videos on YouTube about DaVinci Resolve and found a lot of work practices and workflows are just not really being touched on. So I figured I would make my own version of a tutorial and hope that you guys will find some value in this. So without further ado, let's jump right into the course. I will include a link to this in the description down below of the YouTube video and that way you can have a copy for yourself. All right, let's get learning. Let's jump to it. So when starting in DaVinci for the very first time and once you've installed it, you're gonna be presented with something called the media page or the media pool, which is indicated by this right here and also this darkened right here. Now, the media pool or the media page is basically a collection of all the media, music, sound effects, pictures or whatever you need to craft your video. Now, there are a lot of ways to bring videos and things into here and to add clips or videos or content to start working with it and making videos, I'm gonna show you guys the best and the most efficient way of bringing in content, okay? So a lot of people will tell you to go to a folder of video and they're gonna tell you to select all this and then drag it and drop it into here, okay? But that is actually not the best way. Let me show you why. If I just take all of this, let's go back where there's multiple folders. So you see, I got these three folders here. I've got drone, music, and video. If I select all of this and drag it and drop it into here, it's gonna ask me, do you wanna change your frame rate? No, we don't wanna change our frame rate. But you notice that all of that is kind of plopped in here. There's kind of no organization, right? We've got our drone footage here. We've got music a little bit right here. And there's really just not any kind of organization, right? All of our videos are mixed in with everything. Let me show you guys a better way to do this. So hit Control and Z or undo, or you can also hit Control A and then right click and then go up here to remove selected clips. Now, let's go back to our folder. So the better way to actually bring it in content to DaVinci Resolve is by going into the parent folder above. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go up one folder. And as you can see, all that lives inside the content simple. Select and drag that into the master area right over here. Then again, it's gonna ask you, do you wanna change your frame rate? We don't. And then what you'll notice now is, ah, we have folders. And this structure matches the structure that we had in Windows. Yes, that is the most optimal and best way to bring in content into DaVinci Resolve. All right, now that you can also get this same effect by, let's go ahead and just select the parent and let's remove bin. Remove bin is like also saying remove folder. A folder is also called a bin in DaVinci Resolve. Now, what you can do is go over to where that drive is or that same place over here in the top left corner you'll notice that this kind of actually mirrors or looks familiar because this is literally your computer's hard drive. So you can actually go to the top left corner here and expand this out. And then here's my content simple folder again, and I can drag and drop it from here into the master, change frame rate, don't change. And there you have the same result, okay? So there are a lot of ways to bring in media into the media tab, but I felt that that was probably the most effective and most easiest workflow as you scale and do bigger and better uh, video projects that have a lot more assets that you need to make your video. All right. Now, there's just a last few more things that I want to show you guys uh, before we go ahead and conclude this video about the media tab. So while you're in here, I just want to let you guys know that this video, these videos that you're seeing here, these are not all on DaVinci Resolve, right? They're inside of DaVinci Resolve, but they're not stored in DaVinci Resolve, if that makes sense. So the reason why we know that is because if you go to a clip and click it, and if you right click on it, if you see this option here where it says open file location, it is going to actually open up where that file is and actually highlight it for you. Now, this is really, really crucial because sometimes you may want to add more content into a particular folder and you want to kind of rebring that back in. So this is how you can get to where that folder is. And this is also how you can find lost files, too. Let's say, for example, I were to delete this clip. So let's say I delete it by hitting delete and we go back to DaVinci. Now you can see that it says, hey, this file is missing. That is why it's highlighted red. So you can actually right click on this, go to file location 
or open file location, and it will tell you where that file actually lives. So that's how you know that this is actually not stored in DaVinci Resolve, but in fact, it's just a reference to where it is on a folder. So that's kind of how you kind of know that. And while we're at it, I'll show you guys, you can actually right click on it and you can also relink it too, in case you moved it to a different location and want to tell it where the new location is. All right. So for uh, the sake of this training, I'm going to go ahead and undo that. And now we have our clip back as well. So that is pretty much the media tab in a nutshell. I pretty much went over everything that you pretty much need essentially for managing media and finding media and kind of relinking that media as well. And everything that you need to know really with the media tab and how you can kind of use it to make your workflow a lot smoother. Uh, I did not go over some of the DaVinci settings and preferences only because I did not want to overwhelm you guys. Um, so I'm going to make a separate video about this and I think that will go hand in hand much better with the cut tab and I promise we're gonna get in it, we're gonna be getting into cutting and chopping up video really, really soon. But I promise you, some of these setting changes that we're gonna make is going to make your workflow with cutting and editing footage significantly better. All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in the next video.